All right, this video we're going to take a look at permutations. Uh, I'll have another video on combinations and then I'll have a, another video that explains the difference between a permutation and a combination. Okay, so you may want to check those out. I don't want to do them all in one video. It'd be video would be too long. Uh, and if you like the video, give me a like, share and subscribe and check out my other videos. All right, so if we have permutations n choose r where r is less than or equal to n okay the r is always is going to be less than or equal to n is the number of permutations of n elements taken r at a time and here's the formula for permutation uh, I'll have a separate video on how to calculate these out by hand uh, but I feel sure the majority of the time you're going to be able to use a calculator to do these uh, calculators do them I'm not going to go over how to do it in a calculator because not everybody has the same calculator and the calculators are different than you know the way you do it on certain calculators they're they're just all different it seems like so just check your your manual or uh, if you have one of the little scientific calculators with the little case just look inside that case and there's a piece of paper in there and they usually show you how to punch all that in uh, now the the way that I've written this PNR I wrote it like this because the one note what I'm doing this in uh, it just didn't look good the other way I did it I had to wanted to type it but the other way that you might see the permutation written is like this I've got a permutation in things cho choose R. And like I said, I just did this because this was not coming out good when I was trying to type it. All right, so the thing about permutations is uh, order matters. The way that you choose everything, the order that you choose them makes a difference. That's permutation. And a combination, the way you choose the items, the order that you choose them does not matter. That's basically the difference in a permutation and combination. But like I said, I'll have a video explaining more in detail about that with some examples. All right. So here we have a baseball team has 15 players. How many nine-player batting orders are possible? Okay, so first we need to think about it. We've got 15 players and we're choosing nine of them for a batting order. So does the order matter? Well, let's let's just look at one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's look at these spots here. Okay, I'm just showing you how the order matters. And say you have player A, B, C, D. Okay, let's just choose uh, four of them right now. So if I choose A, B, C, and D, there's a batting order. You know, that's the first four batters. But look at this. Let's say I choose C, B, D, A. Okay. And, you know, we got, we got other players. Okay. And they go on 15 of them. But these are the ones that I chose. But notice, notice the ones that I chose. Okay. I chose A, B, C, and D both times. You see that? I chose them both times. Well, but look, first I chose A, then I chose B, then C, then D. But here I chose C, B, D, and A. I chose them in a different order. And these are different batting orders. So the, the order that I chose them made a difference and so that tells us that it's a permutation because the order I chose made a difference all right so I know this is a permutation I've got 15 players and I'm choosing nine of them okay now if you plug this into the formula you're gonna get what 15 factorial over 15 minus 9 factorial. Okay? So that's what you would get. Alright, and so that would be what? 
15 factorial over and then that would be over 6 factorial. You could punch that in your calculator, reduce it by hand or whatever, but I mean I'm not, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't plug it into the formula. Just punch that into your calculator. Uh, I'm using a TI-30X2S so if you've got that calculator I'll talk through how I'm punching it in. So I'm gonna type hit 15, I typed in 15, then there's a button on your calculator that says PRB so I hit that and then you can see that NPR has the three line has the lines under it and then next to it's NCR and then next to it is factorial uh, that's permutation combination and factorial well it's already underneath the NPR so I'm gonna hit enter so you should have something on your screen that looks like 15 NPR and then I type in the 9 and hit equals and wow let's see that's a big number one eight one six two one four four zero zero and so you can see there is a bunch of different ways okay all right so what about 1.8 billion ways that you can make the selection all right so let's look at this example too. It says the student activity club at the college has 32 members. In how many different ways can the club select a president, a vice president, a treasurer, and a secretary? All right, so sometimes it's a little more difficult than others to determine if it's a combination or permutation. Uh, what you have to look at here is, okay, so we've got a president, a vice president, a treasurer, and a secretary. Okay, and I've got 32 members. So let's say, let's say I have person one, two. Well, let's see. Let's we got person A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and so on. Okay, 32 of them. I'm not going to write it all out, but let me show you how the how the order how this is a permutation. So let's say I choose A first and then B and then C and then D. Okay? So A is president, B is vice president, C is treasurer and D is secretary. Okay? Well, what if I did this? What if I chose B first, then C, then A and then D? I chose the same four, but I chose them in a different order. So now B is president, C is vice president, A is treasurer, and D is secretary. So it made a difference because the first time that I chose them, I just chose A, B, C, and D, and A was president. But since I chose B first, B's president, that's a different, uh, that's a different, cabinet or you know president vice president treasurer and secretary so you can see that order made a difference on this one okay so I have what I have a permutation I've got 32 members and how many am I choosing well I'm choosing a, for a president vice president treasurer and secretary so it's four Okay, so you can plug it into the formula if you want, but I'm just going to punch it into my calculator. So I'm going to hit 32, the PRB, the permutation is already underlined, so I hit enter, and then I'm choosing 4, so I type in 4, and that equals, let's see, that's 863040. Okay. And so you can see there's uh, 863,040. All right, so I hope the video helped. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have combinations. Uh, I'll have another video explaining the difference between combinations and permutations. And uh, then I'll have a video on calculating all this stuff out using the formula and doing it by hand. So check those out. Uh, hope it helped. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other video.